Exclamation sub, man. He might be subscribed on like a bird. Nah, dream sniping me, bro. Yo, what the fuck is your build? What? What is your build? Yo, are you laughing at me? Yes, bro. What are you? What is? Why are you laughing at me? It's Larry Bird's build. What the? Oh, it's Larry Bird's. Okay. It's supposed to be a moment. It's supposed to be a moment. It's supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you're the only one that knows it? Hey, make sure y'all like the video and make sure you subscribe if you are new, man. It helps out the channel a lot. So look, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, I'm going to be showing you the top five lockdown builds in 2K23, man. Make sure y'all watch this full video so you can really get the spectrum of like what I'm explaining and why which build is which so you don't waste your money. A build costs 100 plus dollars, my boy. I'm going to go in depth with all these builds, let you know what builds is best for randoms, etc. Also, if you got an 80 plus 1 percent on current or next gen, hit me up on Twitter, my boy. Link is in the description. Always looking for uh, new people to run with. If y'all ever want to run, just pull up to the stream. I'll be picking up y'all bots, y'all negative win percents all the time and carrying you because I am a god. <laughs> so firstly, man, this build right here is the 6-8 lock, bro. This is the build that you want to make if you don't have a team, if you more, more than likely play with randoms, etc. Um, good at 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v3s, <laughs> pro-am rec, you know, real do-it-all builds. These are the type of builds you want to run if you run with randoms or, you know, you just... You're not trying to play meta, you know? You can have a big build where you can have multiple ball handlers, man. Comp guys don't like that, man, at all. Now you can remake these builds on next gen, but they're more limited and not as good. The ones I showed on next gen that are kind of like this are, um, they're different. So it's not gonna be the exact same. Okay, so look, we got 12 finishing. No tears, none of that. This is why current is just better, bro. Um, besides that steel thing, ridiculous. So you got silver rise up, silver limitless takeoff, bronze posterizer, and look, you got plenty of badges, bro. Plenty. And you got the stand and dunk cheese, man. So you know, when you learn how to stand and dunk, um, you don't even have to rely on the quickie drops and you can really get shit done. All you need to score is quick drops. So all that drive and dunk is just for more in traffic. But quick drops, you can just spam those and be immaculate. So look, we got 17 shooting badges, man. Okay? Nice little free throw. We got silver agent threes. You know, um, gold green machine. Bronze limitless range. Gold claymore. Purple clutch shooter. And, you know, we got a nice amount you can come out the corner fading, etc. And on current, bro, when you get takeover, you get both takeovers. If you get that accelerator, make sure you look up how to get accelerator. You get takeover instant. Bam. Now you have sharp take on your lock. Come out the corner, fade that hoe. Okay. You feel me? Ah. Uh, now look, there ain't no pass style on um current gen, bro. And pass styles are actually trash, bro. I don't, I don't care what them modern controllers talking about, bro. I think pass style makes your, your passing way slower. It's crazy. This is what we rocking. 16 playmaking badges on a lockdown build, okay? Um, you got silver hyperdrive, silver unpluckable. Okay, this is mostly a lock. This is a 6-8 big lock. You're not a primary ball handler, by the way. Um, bronze handles for days. You know, you got the floor general, the dimer. Silver quick first step, ankle breaker bailout, you know, decent playmaking, man. You know, you are a 6'8 lock, okay? I don't know if y'all y'all know what lock means. A lot of y'all aren't used to the uh, 2K lingo, but yeah, you are a 6'8 lock, bro. 
okay? Now, this is your defense, man. Immaculate. 28 defensive badges. By the way, on current, you get an extra nine badges, bro. It's crazy. You got gold anchor. Paint defense is better on current than on next, which is crazy, right? Um, Gold challenger, hall of fame, chase down artist, gold clamps, gold glove, gold interceptor. Hall of Fame, Workhorse, and Rebound Chaser, and Post Lockdown to stop the post scores. You got a ton of defensive badges, bro. And while I mess with it a little bit, but this is the final build, bro. Okay? The final build, the 6-8 lock. Make sure you invest in your build, bro. Get Accelerator. So then you unlock it for all your builds. I don't know how current works. How does current work? Do you have to get accelerator for each build? I don't know. I know it's a quick process. So make sure you get accelerated. So you unlock double takeover in like three scores or something like that. Um, you're definitely gonna want to go with lock take first. And then this is up to you, bro. Um, people can't shoot, okay? And this also makes you faster. Um, it gives you a super dimer. So you just got to make sure to tell your teammates, hey, shoot the ball. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot when I pass it. This play take is going to make people be scared to, to guard you. And uh, you're going to dot people. It's going to help you win. People cannot shoot. Or you just do the, the sharp take and, you know, you know, it's up to you. Strategy, you know. But, yeah, I recommend this for most bots. It's up to you. That playmaking hole is definitely underrated, but yeah. Three and D point, my boy. Lonzo Ball, Drew Holiday, Magic Johnson in this build. Now this build right here that I'm finna show is you. going to be bailout lock. On current gen, man, your guards getting locked up, or you know, whoever you're playing with, they're getting locked up, you can take over. This is the ultimate bailout lock. I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, okay, you got a decent, driving layup you know 78 is pretty good you got this 93 toxic dunk okay you got gold posterizer gold limitless takeoff and gold slithery you can fly through and you got the, also the standing dunk cheese okay you can bail out anyone go skill dunk and then say you get takeover because of some defense or something you can really bail them out go crazy bail out your teammates because you are a demi okay Okay, look, you got immaculate shooting. Okay, so you can come out, fade, fade corner, whatever. You get, you probably had takeover. That sharp take. You, not only can you go contact dunk everyone, and you can also fade. Got that silver agent threes. You got all the shooting badges you need. Gold catch and shoot. Gold claymore. Gold green machine. You 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 got enough. Okay, your pass accuracy good. Ball handle, all that's eh. Most comp players, this is how they make their uh, lock and um, center builds, by the way. And this is the defense, man. This is an on-ball lock, okay? You got that 99 steal. Hall of Fame glove. Hall of Fame clamps. Hall of Fame challenger. Hall of Fame interceptor. Hall of Fame workhorse. And you got silver anchor. That's immaculate, especially on current gen where there is more paint D and you got decent rebounding and a uh, decent interior. Um, I have a six, seven guard build where I have just bronze anchor and I stop everyone in the paint, bro. And, but my timing's different from everyone's. I, I think I'm the greatest defender ever, but like you can really get it done on a, the silver, but the worse you are, the more you need, okay? Um, 87 speed lock, you know, 77 uh, acceleration. You got the nice vert to uh, help you get certain contact dunks and help with the boards and contest. And you got a decent stamina, man. Now with this build, it's up to you, right? You could do the lock take, or you could do like sharp and slasher. Maybe if you want to hide that you're a lock, you might want to do something like this, you know, so they're not too scared. 
and then they think you're like a guard or something, but then they don't know you have a 99 steal because you ain't got that lock. That's what I would do. It's up to you, though. It's up to you. I would do this to hide that you're a lock with 99 steal, and they're not going to be as cautious. So what people do is they press start, and they look at the takeovers, and, you know, yeah, that, that that's what they do. But it's up to you. Try it out, man. Let me know how you feel. Y'all let me know what takeovers you would pick. Two-way inside-out score. Hey, man. Now, here goes another on-ball lock. The good thing about this hole is you will have access to limitless takeoff. Unlike on Next Gen, when you have this low badges, you don't have access to limitless takeoff. And, um, yeah, got limitless takeoff. You got all the finishing you really need to finish at a high clip, bro. With the quick drops. If y'all don't know quick drops, man, you got to educate yourself, my boy. All you need is the quick drops for this build. Okay, you got the 83-3. You know, Silver Agent 3s, like I'm telling you with all these builds. Gold Green Machine, Bronze Limitless, Gold Catch and Shoot, Gold Claymore. All these badges help you shoot lights out, fade like a god. Now, your playmaking. You got Silver Unpluckable. Okay, you got, you got a lock that actually has Silver Unpluckable and silver quick first steps you could ball handle a little bit get a little speed boosty help your teammate out help him out a little bit get a little wiggly on the perimeter you know the fast breaks so you play wreck or something you got some speed will ball up on you you know you 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 know move a little bit yeah now look your defense is immaculate okay this defense is immaculate okay much better than um the build I showed you before you got an 80 interior silver post lockdown okay this is an excellent 1v1 2v2 build all that um if y'all didn't know like every year especially in the older 2ks not the older older but like the 1920 people went and used lockdowns that couldn't even speed boost and went on high win streaks it's because of that 99 steel okay you can do that with this hoe like you, you can do that, and you'll be on. You got a 99 steel, bro. You got 80 interior. You got all these stats. People aren't used to playing these stats in the in the one v one, bro. You could, you can get nasty with it, man. That ass. But um, you know, you see, you still got a silver unpluckable. But you know, you can you know make other builds if those that's what you want. But this is just an all around build. You could play it anywhere. A lock. Look. If you having hard times finding people to play with and you, you always, you know, the best thing to make is a lock, bro. Everyone needs a lock, bro. Everyone needs a lock. It helps you play more instead of just having like some type of mid guard build to where you have to fit in and all that. Up. But if you got a lock, you could get on the team way more often, man. And you got a 93 rebound. Okay, that's very good. You got gold rebound chaser on a lock incredible bro incredible this is immaculate immaculate speeds decent stamina the vertical is low but you know you got to invest in what you want you feel me i would prefer a higher vertical but you know we got the quickie drops and you'll be gucci with this with the takeovers man you can just listen to the first uh other two <laughs> things i would do uh with the takeovers i i would probably do this now, this build right here is a risky build, okay? I have not tested something like this, but there is standing dunk cheese, bro. If you know how to standing dunk cheese, you could go crazy. Um, also, there is a method that we used to do back in 2K15. Like, if they ever take out Limitless Takeoff and all this other stuff, there's a method. You only go for the dunk right when you hit the restricted area. And then you almost never uh, get blocked. A lot of people don't know this. But if you play like that, especially with this 80 standing dunk, I presume everything would be the same. And you can still go crazy. Um, it's just something you have to, you know, you can't launch and all that. You know, but you got the 80 standing dunk. You know, you got the silver rise up. And yeah, man, dude, I, I think this could really be a thing. I really made this hole for next. Um, I really made this hole for next because when you do just a quick drop lockdown, you can't uh, 
get limitless takeoff, right? You feel me? You can't get limitless takeoff. Because limitless takeoff is like tier three, and then you need like 16, 17 finishing. Nah, you, you, you can't do it. So this is why I made this version to see if like it's possible to, you know, you know, real high finishing clip. But um, on, on current, you, you can still get limitless takeoff. So it's kind of, you know, but th this could be more efficient, man. You know, if any of y'all make something like this, definitely let me know. God damn, what am I doing? But yeah, here's here's the bill right here, man. You know, you got the shooting, you know, you can fade. You got all the best shooting badges. Gold catch and shoot, gold claymore. Agent three silver. Gold green machine. You got the 70 pass accuracy. Silver unpluckable. Silver quick first step. Bronze clamp breaker, you know? You got the immaculate defense, man. You know, you can rock this on the 1v1s, 2v2s, 3s, Pro-Am, Rec, and you will be a force. Okay? These the takeovers you get. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite build that y'all made this year. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, man. Link is in the description. And click one of these two videos, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.